Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have seen the different types of uh, form, 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 form related elements like uh, field set, legend and these label things. These are all the things we have learned it. Now it's time for us to learn some of the form controls. What are the form controls that are available in this form? Let's try to see it. So we have seen about this field set, religion and these uh, label thing and all those things we have seen now here we are using the form control now we have used here one type of form control that is nothing but input tail input form control so like this form controls in how many ways the user can send the data to the server or so to whatever whatever maybe so how much how many ways he, he can communicate with the web page let's try to see it so here i will try to create form controls i am creating a new new file so here let's create a new file sorry let's create a new file now form controls okay let's try to see so there are different types of form controls available in the html so let's try to see it one by one normally the common input types what we will be using is the button checkbox file hidden image password radio buttons reset buttons submit and the text thing so these are all the yeah, these are all different types are there let's try to see it one by one but here the first thing is single line input for example let's say that we are having a form okay we are having a form and we'll be having a label label and here i will be using name and this for means nothing but to keep the focus now here input i will be using this input element so this input element is is used for the this is the most basic form control so this is the most basic form control so this is a very convenient way to let the user enter any kind of data as we already seen in some few a few simple examples also we have seen about this input element so this will allow the user to enter any kind of data so this this one has some basic attributes or same uh, some common behavior is there let's try to see those common attributes which will support so let's try to see this input element now we can mention for this input element if you try to see the output for this one let's open this one in live server and here we are able to see the basic input element right so this is the basic input element we are able to see it name so we are able to write the data whatever we want we can write it in the in a single line only okay so in a single line we are able to write it now so for this one we have an attribute that is nothing but type attribute so single line text element is created by using input element we understood and for this the type attribute is the type is the main attribute and for this the type attribute is the text so which is a default one so if you don't mention it the input element will take the attribute as default one text if you mention if you omit this type attribute so the text is the default value and if you have any any something around for example let's say that if you are giving any attribute so which doesn't understand by the browser then also it will fall back to the text attribute only so this is the thing you need to understand so the type attribute if any type attribute the values the browser cannot understand means it will fall back to the text attribute so this is the thing for example let's try to see that we will be having a type that is nothing but color so if you use this color some browsers may not support this color attribute now for example this uh, firefox supports this one if you try to see we are able to see a color palette so that we can select whatever the color we want but if some of the browsers doesn't support this uh, color means it will fall back to the text box so this is about the single line text now how we will implement this one is normally the implementation will be in such a way that input type is equal to text and you can use the id attribute and you can have this name attribute okay so if you want to mention the value so you can mention the value that so I am a text field I am a text field okay so I can use this like this now if you try to see the output for this one so here if you refresh it or otherwise let's save this one okay and if you try to see it so okay we have written here right something so why this one is not coming let's try to see this one yeah so I am a text field now I am able to see that I am a text field so these are the uh, most common attributes we will be using for this input field so type is equal text and we are giving an id and the name of this one form so with which we are we are trying to submit using the form to the server means 
with this name the value will be submitted and the value the what is the value to be displayed in the input box we are trying to do it. so single line text have only one true constraint if you type the text with breaks or anything the browser removes those line breaks before sending in data to the server okay so this is about the single line text not only this type is equal to text there are also some other form controls which support the single line text so the another one what we can see is which supports the single line text is password field okay so what is the difference between these two things let's try to see so here you can use the password okay and i can use something like input type is equal to password id is equal to password if you want to keep, maybe we can keep the id is equal to password and the name is equal to password so with this name it will be sent to the server now if we try to see the output so this password field also takes the single line single line value only just like the text field but the difference is so it will have a dot notation okay so the password value doesn't add any special contents to the enter text but it will use the dot or asterisk depending on the browser so it can't be easily read by the others so this is the thing password value will take so keep in mind that this is just an user interface feature so dots means so there is no security in this one so unless uh, unless you submit your form securely only uh, then only it will be sub, uh, submitted in an encrypted form or otherwise it will be sent on a plain text so which is bad for security so if you send it like this means a malicious party or anything so it could inter intercept your data and steal the passwords so for credit card details or anything so when you are submitting so you need to keep uh, keep in mind these are all the things and also the best way to protect these users is to maintain the host the pages in a HTTPS security thing so that whenever the browser is trying to send the data it will encrypt the data and it will try to send it so this is the main thing you need to keep in mind when we are trying to use the password so try to make um, so this password will show it like this star only but it will be just sent like a input text field only as a plain text format so this is another one which takes the single line and there is also another element that is nothing but hidden 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 a hidden it is of type hidden input so let's try to see that one also now if we try to use this type is equal to uh, so for this hidden thing so you will not have a label or anything so if you want to keep the p element you can keep it or otherwise you can keep it so this one is not uh, this one uh, this input field will not be shown in the browser so if you try to see input type is equal to hidden I can you uh, there, there is no need of adding this id and all those things and i can add add the timestamp and all those things okay so this input field so we'll also take the single uh, value only so single inline input only but this will be not visible to the user so here if you try to see the input hidden field is there but we are not able to see this input hidden field so when we use this input hidden field is when we want to send this timestamp and all those things which we don't want the user to give the input so we want to send some data to the server so hiddenly so it means we can use this uh, input type is equal to hidden so there is no need that user cannot uh, cannot write in this one intentionally so he there is no option for his to write the internationally until and unless when he wants to inspect the element and change only he can change it for example if i try to write value is equal to some data okay hidden data now if i want to send it means so here if i try to write something and if i try to press enter okay or otherwise i will try to give um, button submit i am using the submit and type is equal to submit i am using type is equal to submit to submit the data to the server now these are in the form right so method is equal to post now if i try to use this one and if i try to write it and if i click on this one so here so we are having this password field and name password what are the password i have written but here it is in the star mark but here it is star, uh, say, sending it as a plain text now here you will be able to see the timestamp hidden data here nowhere the input box is there but in this form it is trying to send it so this is this is the these are the three uh, input elements or type attributes which will take the single line input so input type is equal to text input type is equal to password and input type is equal to hidden so this with these three things will take the single line in single line data so now there are also some common attributes which are supported by for this one okay so these are there are some common behaviors all the input elements will have some common attributes so each common attributes will have some special features uh, in in this one 
so let's try to see that one in the next video so these are the what are the common attributes that are used here let's try to see it in this video you need to understand that so single line uh, data so single line data text input fields so single line data which will accept are the three elements that are input type is equal to text attribute type is equal to password and type is equal to hidden whereas type is equal to hidden means this will nowhere shown in the form so the user cannot see this in the form but internally this one will be existing in the inspect element here if you try to see it here you will have a hidden field so that whenever the user wants to submit the data so this way information also will be traveled along with the form data to the server so that we can use this data with this one so where we don't want the user to interfere with, with this data but we want some extra data to be sent to the server means we can use it to we can use it with the hidden variable and type is equal password you already understood that when you want to give the sensitive information which should not be revealed outside means you can use this password and normal single line text is the normal text input okay so these are the things hope you understood about this basic input form element single line form elements form controls if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you